NYC Art says, how dumb is that? I only cheer for the vets, m- quoting me. So you don't ever cheer for athletes? Really not true. You cheer. <laughs> do, do I speak English? Uh, maybe I you don't. You speak English. Maybe I don't speak, and I don't speak very well. I get that. But that's what you took from what I said. I'm saying that you give a standing ovation. Sight unseen, based. We don't know anything about these people other than the fact that they're vets. That's who I uh, listen. I'll give a standing ovation to a guy that hits a game-winning home run. There's a different moment. I'm not saying I don't cheer for athletes. I'm just saying that out of nowhere, I'm not going to give a standing ovation to Jose Reyes, who beat his wife and was fortunate enough not to get convicted for it, and then give the same standing ovation two innings later to a guy that served in World War II. That's the analogy, people. I don't understand why you don't listen. Maybe you just want to get a reaction. Maybe you just want to get your tweet read. I can't. I am getting some of the. I, I'm just muting people because I'm getting like the dumbest analogies, the dumbest comments. Are people really that stupid? Honestly, honestly. I mean, you drive me crazy with this garbage. You try to have an intelligent conversation. If you want to say something that ridiculous, call so we can interact, so I can actually find out what the heck you mean. So we can maybe understand each other. My God, did I ever say anything remotely like that? Or why would you take it like that? I mean, just, I don't even know why I bother, honestly. Hey, Don, you only cheer for veterans? What Are you about, watching? What about when there's a good Man. play in the game, Don? You know, that was eerily sounding like an actual talk show host in New York. <laughs> One eight hundred nine one nine three seven seven six. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break. Um, yeah. Take some more of your phone. Well, uh, real quick, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to point out something else that's happening, Don. I want everyone to only watch our show and don't change the channel, okay? But the, uh, SNY is currently rerunning the the show they did. Uh, the, the the experts against each other, the Mets experts. Right. And there is nothing like seeing Chris Carlin in that bright pink jacket. Beat There's the no, booth. Beat the booth. Right. It's beat the booth. And my wife did a great job producing it, and Chris Carlin did a wonderful job hosting it. I thought he was hilarious. Have you ever seen a man of Chris's stature in a color like, like that, that jacket that he's wearing? That is a, the TV's not even doing justice in this room with the lights above it. That is a bright pink, Don. That is. A bright, bright pink. I salute you, Chris Carlin. I love you. I'm going to read one more. Just so no, my head no, explode. no, Don. I just want to read one more. Because I've gotten a bunch. Because it's not just one person. I've gotten several tweets asking this question. So maybe I'm, maybe I'm the stupid one. And maybe everybody else is smart. I'm really stupid. It's part. It's part. DJD Range. How do you know those World War II vets never hit their wives? Times were different then. Before I... Before I rip and break this computer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We know Jose Reyes beat his wife. That's the difference. That's the answer. We know. We don't know if the World War II veteran did it, but we know Reyes did. We know Reyes did. We know Reyes did. Go to break.